Modern architecture is often celebrated for its innovative design and aesthetic appeal. However, there are times when these bold concepts can lead to unintended and dangerous consequences. Today's video explores two notable examples, the 20 French Church Street Skyscraper in London, also known as the Walkie Talkie and Fry Scraper, and the Vidara Hotel in Las Vegas. Both buildings designed with striking curved glass facades inadvertently focused sunlight into intense beams that caused significant damage, including melting cars and creating hazardous hotspots. Through these cautionary tales, we will delve into the challenges faced by developers, the solutions implemented, and the crucial lessons learned to prevent such incidents in future architectural endeavors. In 2013, the brand new 20 Fenchurch Street skyscraper designed by architect Raphael Vinoli soared into the skyline with its unique curved glass design. Instantly, it became a centerpiece of London's architecture, reflecting sunlight in an unexpected way. The building, which tops out at 37 stories and 518 feet, was quickly nicknamed the Walkie Talkie and the Fry Scraper due to its shape resembling a curled up radio headset. Not long after its completion, bizarre reports began to surface from traffic drivers and store owners located below. They noticed fiery spots on the roads, sidewalks, and crossways caused by the tower's glass concave facade concentrating the sun's intense rays. These spots reach temperatures as high as 238 degrees Fahrenheit. Yikes, that's hot enough to melt plastic and fry eggs. Yum. The mysterious phenomenon was revealed to be these skyscrapers curved glass windows acting as a magnifying glass, focusing the sun's rays into deadly beams of infrared energy like laser beams. The heat canopy not only intensified as the day progressed, but also moved around with the sun, causing different areas to experience extreme heat. The first victim of this architectural blunder was a Jaguar XJ luxury sedan parked in East Cheap Alley. The $120,000 car's mirrors, badges, and rear lights melted into a plastic mess, distorting expensive parts of its bodywork. The owner faced significant repair costs, with mechanics needing extensive time to dismantle and replace the damaged parts. Photos and videos of the disintegrated Jaguar quickly spread, turning the incident into a worldwide scandal and pointing fingers at the developers. Neighbors from adjacent buildings also reported damage caused by the concentrated rays, which neither they nor the firewalls could block. The East Cheap restaurants had to completely redo its buckled and melted entryway due to the intense heat. A contractor even reported stepping into a melted puddle of vehicle molding, ruining his work boots. City officials were soon overwhelmed by upset business owners demanding action. Specialists conducted tests and found that the deflected sun rays were concentrated into small areas at specific times of the day and year. To address the issue, sun-deflecting awnings and fins were installed over the skyscraper's windows to break up the light before it could reach the ground. The authorities also provided a compensation package exceeding half a million dollars to affected businesses. The measures proved successful, but the building's notoriety persisted. Tourists now flocked to the site, snapping photos and marveling at sculptures made of distorted bent forks and spoons part of a satirical art installation commemorating the blunder. While the development company and architect faced significant embarrassment, the story ultimately became a unique and intriguing tourist attraction for the city. Similar mistakes have been made elsewhere. For example, Disney's Beach Club Resort in Florida had to install special sun deflectors in 1997. After its blue circular theme design reflected focused sunbeams onto certain parts of the ground and swimming pool, causing overheating and sunburn. Ouch. Guests complained that they had to move rooms and cabins to avoid constantly shifting highly heated spots. This made cabanas, sun chairs, and tables too hot to touch. To address this issue temporarily, the hotel used tinted shade and window films to mitigate the sun's rays until a retrofit could be completed. Another recent case occurred in 2017 when the curved glass exterior of the Vidara Hotel in Las Vegas acted as a misery mirror, reflecting a ray of sun past the building's roof and causing similar effects. 
This resulted in searing plastic truck parts in an employee parking lot and causing poor skin conditions for some guests sunbathing by the pool. Initially, the hotel tried in vain to protect the glass with anti-glare films and coatings, but these measures failed miserably. As a temporary solution, they placed large makeshift umbrellas in an attempt to prevent more casualties and further damage. The management had to dissect completed sections of the pool decks when the death ray became too hot and dangerous at various times of the year. Next time you see a building with a curved glass facade, marvel at its beauty. But be thankful that your vehicle isn't exposed to its light reflecting laser properties. While these unusual incidents make for quality news stories and photo opportunities, the potential dangers of melting vehicles, scorched pedestrians, and urban fires are serious concerns. Before constructing such a skyscraper, designers and developers should use mathematical algorithms to determine all sunlight reflection angles for each season and assess any potential danger of the building accidentally becoming a death ray. Scale-down prototypes should be tested intensively to identify trouble points and ensure safety. Builders and owners may need to implement minor modifications, such as additional exterior shading, strategic window tinting, or anti-solar glazing to prevent damage from direct sunlight. Architects should prioritize public safety over avant-garde class designs, as evidenced by the issues with the Vidara Hotel and London's Fry Scraper. Nobody knows if future skyscrapers will face similar issues. For example, they might need to be shielded with sun visors, oven mitts on the exterior, or have separate parking lots. However, there's always the possibility that builders may overlook a light focusing issue. Caution, drivers everywhere may soon start flocking to get their names on melting zone street signs and vehicles just like they do at coffee stores. Even though these heat ray incidents are amusing in hindsight, they provide an essential lesson in thoroughly testing new architectural projects for safety hazards before construction. The last thing any city wants is an entire district of melting cars and scorching pavements due to inadequate research on sunlight paths. A little extra thought can prevent such destructive heat-related blunders. The stories of the 20 Fenchurch Street skyscraper in London and the Vidara Hotel in Las Vegas serve as a stark reminder of the unintended consequences that can arise from modern architectural designs. While the innovative use of curved glass facades can create visually stunning buildings, they can also lead to serious hazards, such as concentrated solar reflections capable of melting cars and causing extreme heat spots. These incidents highlight the importance of thorough testing and planning in architectural design to ensure public safety and prevent costly and embarrassing mistakes. Both cases underscore the need for designers and developers to utilize advanced mathematical algorithms and scale down prototypes to predict and mitigate potential dangers. Implementing solutions like sun deflecting awnings, tinted windows, and anti-glare films can prevent damage and ensure that buildings are safe for both people and property. We'll see you next time with more intriguing stories from the world of architecture. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video.